Today I'm starting a wonderful community artistic project and it's building a seating area in Bentham Skate Park um, next to the playing fields. So I'm, I'm really excited to get involved with it. I'm really proud to have been thought of and commissioned to do this project and I can't wait to get started. What's involved in actually building the project is first of all making the moulds um, here in the workshop. Um, next step will be actually taking them down onto site and pretty much digging the foundations, putting the moulds in place, uh, ready for the pour. Next step will be the actual pour and leaving it overnight. After that we'll take the moulds off. Uh, clean up any edges that we need to and hopefully get the best finish possible. Um, next step will actually be the steel work, so erecting the roof, putting that in place um, and actually painting the steel work and then hopefully by the en end of it we will have a nice seating area. Um, if we take a look at the plans, we've got a bird's eye view here, first one, so the main seating area here and there's two uh, little benches, one going off to the side that's actually joined onto the main seating area and then just one that's separated and then the main of it is actually covered by a sort of wavy uh, steel roof which is, um, so here's the roof, uh, this is a face on view of it, uh, the main structure again and then the little bench will be here, uh, n the one that's not joined on and um, the one that's joined on will be going down the side uh, it's got like a, a dome section underneath the seat which will be explained a lot better uh, in the moulds um, then finally we've got the actual side seat so that's the main one that goes down the side of it and then this is the little one that's separated so that's what we're going to go on first is the moulds for that. I'm really happy he's doing the build, you know, it's for the community and I live in Bentham. So I like go down to Skate Park and I'd say, oh my brother's done that. I mean, it's a big challenge, but we're able to do it. It's what he does, so he can do stuff like that. You can pull anything off. We're going to start on the bigger one of the two smaller moulds. So the first section we're going to go for is the side on view. Um, that's got half an arch first of all, and then two arches uh, part way down and the actual upwards rising angle. So we'll start off with the actual uh, depth of it. So how high it will be off the ground, which will be uh, 450. So I can mark along here. 4.50 just in sections and I'll go and do a straight line over it all so that gives us the overall depth of the seat or height even um, next section is the uh, the first curve so that comes uh, 375 in so uh, 375 is there We'll just mark a, a square up there. So that's first section. Then we have that's five fifty to the next section. So uh, from there, uh, five fifty. Next section. So that's all solid. There. And the next part of the arch will be 375 again. There. 
So then we'll have to cut this in the centre because the board isn't long enough for the whole side section. So what I'll do is cut this in the centre of the arch and then join another section for the rest of it. So now next step is marking the height of the arches and how much it leaves between the top of the arch and the top of the seat, which is 75. So uh, we mark 75 in the centre there, uh, 75 on this end here, there, and also we want 75 on this section here. So we go there. Then now we need to make a way of marking the actual arch. There's one or two ways to do this. If you have a protractor, that would probably be the best way. Um, but I don't have anything big enough. So what I'm going to do, uh, just get a little scrap of wood. Um, or you can do it with a section of string and just tack a little panel pin in. Uh, but all I'm going to do is pretty much uh, just get a drill bit size of the end of the pen so that can go in it only has to be roughly um, one. there so that section there then we want that because we've got our depth now and then to the center line we've got our depth from the top of the arch so that coming round should meet up either side here so then just uh, all I'm going to do put that over the center of the mark drill onto this edge here and as long as I just keep that little drill bit on the edge of that mark, I should be able to just go around with the pen there from the center. So follow it around there and then back over the other way. Oh, if you don't slip that is, that's the, the only problem. There, so that's one arch. Then it should be the same uh, here, so that will go from the corner point there, so that should come straight down to there, straight back up to there. So then that's the other arch, and then we only get half an arch here because we've run out of board. But that will be the centre point, which also lines up, and then just go all the way around there. And then what would be that section there. So then we to join some more board on for the center here. And then it comes down to the bottom of the arch over another 150 and then starts to slope up. So that's a whole side view of the largest section of a bench. Next step is actually just cutting straight down this line and then I'll cut the arches out after that. next step on this is actually cutting the arches out and it's pretty much the same process on the smaller mould it's nearly a, a exactly the same just shorter um, then it next bit will be actually tackling the big mould <laughs> 